Well, it's uh, Tuesday, June 10th. Uh, I'm here at uh, South Lake St. John's uh, Baptist Church with our 53-foot trailer full of uh, bicycles and helmets and teddy bears for a group of special kids uh, out in East Texas at a camp called I'm Still Me. The camp was started in 1992 by Dr. Kevin Sitting at LSU Hospital. And uh, three weeks ago on a Saturday, I was, uh, did a ride for the Wounded Warriors and there was a group of bikers there called uh, Brothers Keepers and they're uh, active and retired firemen. And uh, I overheard them talking about June 10th and the ride and I said, what's the ride about? And they said, well, we raised money through the year to gift uh, these kids that have gone through a really tragic time and have gone through the LSU hospital. And uh, Kevin Sitting, the doctor there who runs the hospital, uh, started this camp. About that time, my phone rang and it was my mother. And I just thought I'd call her back. And I noticed it was a voicemail. She never leaves a voicemail, so I walked outside of Strokers and I heard my uh, her voicemail saying son I just want to let you know that Mary Jo passed away today and uh, uh, it really totally makes sense to me because that I got that call at that time because that was a confirmation that she is with somebody that she dearly loved which is my grandmother who's the angel on these wings I can't tell you how many times to the day, to the hour, to the minute that we were short money and we committed to kids and I get a phone call and the check comes through. I have literally sat on the end of my bed at, uh, and just shook my head knowing without a shadow of doubt that my angel in heaven, uh, Velma Chapman, my grandmother, uh, is uh, pulling a lot of strings and helping uh, us bless the kids. When I got that phone call, at that time, that reconfirmed to me that I have two angels. And uh, this lady was an <clears throat> angel on earth as well. My mom was a single mom. And we were struggling. <clears throat> she was always there. I love you guys. Today is in her memory. Just know she's in heaven. Love you. Bye. Uh, the biggest thing that happened when we was over there, I met a guy named Kevin Howell. Kevin, there you are. And I'm going to uh, He's got a lot to do with what things that happen next. Uh, Kevin, I'll just let you take it, man. How about that? Uh, do you, need yeah. to, do you need to make You want the microphone? Uh, no. <laughs> I uh, just want to say I'm just really uh, humbled to be part of this deal today and see all these beautiful kids and just be able to help out a little bit what you guys do with that big check. That's that's amazing. Um, we, uh, we're really blessed this year. We've got a, a company in South Lake. Uh, Beverly Wells is part of that team. She's also part of Spokes for Hope as our treasurer. Come here, Beverly. Folks for Hope, we got Craig Ludwig over there, we got Avi, we got uh, what, what Keller Williams did this year is they uh, they had a golf tournament and uh, it was really a great turnout and what they were able to do is raise enough money so we could uh, build bicycles and we got helmets and uh, that's what that trailer is full. So every kid here today is going to get a brand new bicycle and helmet. Guys, all this good to have for that Kevin and his gang that he just introduced. Uh, we kind of ran into them over at the when, when we went to uh, to Strokers that day, and like I said, it's all uh, it's uh, kind of crazy the way things work out. But uh, like I said, in there uh, ordering a hamburger, they were backed up, both of us. Uh, ordering a hamburger standing there at the corner and then I overheard Marty talk to some other firemen talking about this camp and how excited they were to come out here and see the kids again and bless them and uh, I'll just say one thing I got a phone call at that time from my mother and I stepped outside and 
It's another angel in heaven for me. It's a lady very special to me, Mary Jo. Uh, <coughs> so God put us on that bar that day with a cold beer and a hamburger. And stuff like <laughs> Thank you all. Let's get some bites. time to meet the right people to make um, incredibly good things happen for children that are so deserving and uh, I mean my heart's uh, overflowing um, with gratitude and uh, just uh, I'm, I'm speechless uh, at the generosity of, of just total strangers just seeing a, a need and, and putting things together and just making it happen it's just uh, it's unbelievable just so honored to be a part of it all um, and feel really, 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 really blessed to have an opportunity to be here to share it with these children and all these adults that, that just make their lives richer and, and, and all of our lives richer. I just want to say thank you. My name is Terry. I'm the camp director for Camp I'm Still Me. And I can't express my gratitude for what all of you do for our kids, not only when they're injured and you go in and you rescue them and you help take care of them, but for what y'all are done today. These kids are my heart and my soul. They have been for 22 years that I've been involved with Burn Children, and I just, I can't say enough. Just thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's all I can say. Hey, we would like to thank the Brothers Keepers for all they've done for camp, I'm Still Me. The kids get to come to camp for a week, and get to be themselves, they get to come out and not be ashamed of their scars. Nobody laughs at anybody. When we see the healing process in motion, it is just heartwarming. Um, it's great with all our sponsors that help us out throughout the year to make this possible. When you see the kids' reaction, it is all worthwhile. It is great. And thank you guys for all you've done to help us. Well, I'd just like to say thank you to the Spokes for Hope's crew. Uh, today was an awesome day. Uh, just to see the look on the kids' faces, to see those bicycles, new and shiny, uh, to get to take one home. Uh, it's obvious that some of these kids don't have a bike at home, and for them to be able to uh, be surprised today, they had no idea that this was coming, and uh, it, it was just an awesome experience. I'm just thankful that I could be a small part of it. Thank you, Spokes for Hopes, for, uh, for coming out and making this possible today. I just want to say hi to all my friends at Keller Williams and thank you guys so much one more time for everything you've done to make today such a blessing. I hope you can tell by the video what an amazing day it was, how many kids' lives you touched, you blessed, and you changed hopefully for forever. So thanks again. And uh, we just appreciate more than I can say all that you do for Spokes for Hope.
Oh, just, uh, man, I mean, it, it It was great. I mean, I appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, just glad, man, the kids and, uh, couldn't have done anything better. I mean, uh, everybody uh, had a great time. It looks like all the kids really enjoyed it. Uh, just appreciate y'all doing it. I mean, hell, I, the, the emotion out here, you can, uh, you can, you can, you just had to be standing there. It, it, uh, it's something. I mean, uh, and we really do appreciate y'all. Thanks a lot. Today we came to a camp and we gifted burn victims, and there were 60 children total, and so we gifted them with bicycles. It's um, something that they wouldn't normally have, so it means a lot to them, and it means a lot to us that that we're able to do that for them. And um, so, just to see the happiness on their face when we're able to do something like that is awesome. And it's just a really great organization.